Now to good bones and my personal journey with a silent disease. Thin bones are the telltale sign you have osteoporosis. It can be crippling, life-changing if you don't get treated. And I found out I'm a classic case, fair skinned, light eyes, and my mom had it. But it crosses all ethnicities and we can all do something early in life to prevent it. Little half halts to keep her balanced. Good job and straight ahead. Good. It's what I love to do, but horseback riding isn't exactly what the doctor ordered. Fair skin, light eyes, light hair, thin bone is uh, a big risk factor for osteoporosis. So if you, you are in that category. Good job. <laughs> she was feeling good. Good girl. While I'm learning more I'll about the sport that. of dressage on horseback, Mayo Clinic endocrinologist Dr. Ejigahu Abate is coaching me through a diagnosis of osteoporosis. She encourages me to make wise choices while allowing a little leeway for my time in the saddle. Osteoporosis should not define you. You should still live your life. You just have to know, be smart about how to protect yourself. I'm now in my second year of treatment at Mayo Clinic. After experiencing multiple fractures over several years, ribs, toes, shoulder, and my pelvis, all from skiing and riding frisky horses. So when we see those fractures, we take them seriously because they tend to be, uh, they tend to precede the biggest fractures like pelvis and hip and back fractures, which are the main ones we, we don't want to see. Going to the dentist regularly. I am. Okay, good. Just gonna give it in the back of the arm. Oh, really? Okay. Great. Little itch. A moment to rest my eyes and just put a band-aid on there. Didn't feel a thing. Very good. Awesome. That's it. For me, Prolia, an injection every six months, is making a difference. And Dr. Abate says she can tell. It looks like we've gained. You're still in osteoporosis, but you're almost out of it. Uh, wow. You've gained about 5% in the spine, and you've gained about 7% in the hips. It's a great news. Yeah, you've done amazing. Along with a twice a year injection, walking, weight bearing exercise, and a healthy calcium rich diet are critical. Now this habit is non-negotiable. Every night when I get home from work, I take two of these. <laughs> Doctor's orders. Those two pills contain calcium citrate with vitamin D3, which helps your bones absorb calcium. Prevention can start early. For teens, Dr. Abate recommends calcium through diet, calcium-rich foods, and about 1,000 milligrams daily. Avoiding sodas because sodas deplete the bone of calcium. And avoid excess caffeine. Also, exercise. Exercise is by far the best way to build bone than any medicines we've got out there. And it's not just light-skinned people who are susceptible. I was a walking time bomb. In 2011, at 42, Deb Mena got a physical for her birthday and a brutal awakening. That physical came out with a whole lot of other things. I ended up uh, diagnosed with breast cancer, stage three. This Jacksonville business owner and mother of two, who also runs a nonprofit in her home country of Kenya, underwent 10 years of cancer treatment with medication and chemo she won the fight, but it took a toll on her bones. I started with osteopenia of the uh, of my spine, and I also had uh, osteoporosis of the uh, hips. Uh, but it started getting better because I learned how to maintain it. Mena is a firm believer now in keeping active. Walking is a great weight-bearing exercise that builds bone. Lifting light weights and stretching. And for those who sit on the job, get up and walk around, stretch your bones. And I tell, I'll tell them, just take better care of yourself. She knows diet is critical as well, with foods rich in calcium and vitamin D, vitamin D supplements with citrate for better absorption. And Mena is spreading the word, especially among African-Americans, who she says all too often don't talk about their health. When you speak about it, when you take care of yourself well and you talk about it and you discuss with others and you share your struggles, other people learn and we get a better community because of, of being courageous enough to come out and, and speak about it. 
She's doing so great spreading the word. And Dr. Abate says age 50 to 55, that's a good age for anyone to get a bone density screening, the tool to diagnose the disease. She says there can be many reasons behind a bone thinning diagnosis. For me, it appears to be age related and genetic as my mom dealt with it as well. And there are several choices for medications. So it's important to talk to your doctor about the best round of treatment for you. And can some of our readers, our viewers, excuse me, may be wondering why I continue to ride horses yeah. if it's risky to fall. Well, I can tell you that I ride very differently than I did in the past. I've made changes. I'm much more careful. I don't take the risks like I used to. I don't jump. I don't go too fast. I never ride alone. And I have plenty of good conversations with my doctor on ways that I can continue what I love to do, but also protect myself. And now, if any of you at home are interested in learning more about my journey, I've written a personal diary of sorts on newsforjacks.com. In the comments, I invite you to share your journey with me. And let me know if you're having the same type of you know, experience. We can all learn from each other. One thing I saw you mentioned early in the story was uh, that those injuries came from, and you mentioned skiing. I didn't oh, hear you just say that you I still hung up snow the, skiing. No, right? I hung up the ski boots for good. I hate to tell my friends that because I love to ski. I'm not very good at it. And that's why I kept breaking <laughs> my bones. Yeah. But I've loved it to do it for years. Well, some great uh, hopeful news in there. Hopefully if you've got any of these kind of symptoms or going through this, is that there are things you can do so you mm -hmm. continue to do those activities you love. Right? Yeah, and like Deb Mena said, you know, get up, move around, stretch. You know, you can have a very full life. Make sure you see your doctor and change your diet. The way we live, you know, will extend our lives. We can do this. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.